Hi everyone, you got the Bub031 here again, and it's going to be time for a review. I actually just got these the other day, and I'm just going to show you what they are right now. It's two new cars, passenger cars, baggage, and a manor for repeal, both in the Via Rail Canada scheme. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, now that we've got the intro out of the way, we're going to open up the baggage car, actually. So, pull this out of the way for now. So, normal, bo normal repeat box, very printed, has some nice photos from the back there of the Canadian, it looks like. Let's open this up. So, Huh. Okay, so it's a little bit different this time with the packaging. Um, it doesn't come with a plastic sleeve on top. I even look inside because usually it used to be always tight in here, but it's not. So you get your normal repeat wand. You only get the one long shank coupler instead of two though this time, which is weird. Of course, you get your exploded parts diagram for the car. Now we're gonna open this up for the car. But all in all, it actually is in good, secure order. It doesn't move whatsoever while even in this cradle or in the plastic, sh if it had plastic shell. Of course, it's got its protective wrap. Let's go. Ah. All right, so we'll move some stuff out of the way and continue on. Okay, so I got the car in hand. And I'm telling you right now, it's a beautiful looking car. So it's in the Via, Via Canada scheme. And as you can see, it still sort of does have, even though it's supposed to be modern, it is actually in the steam era. Like you don't see the HEP ends or anything, like the HEP cables or anything like that. Oh, well, that doesn't bother me. Like steel spring loaded diaphragms, which is nice. You can actually see that. but a lot of underbody detail, like crazy underbody detail. You can also see up here, you got the contacts for the lights up top. And I do believe these cars has resistors. I can't really show you this lighted lit up because I don't have track or a place to actually put it on, but it looks really good. Like it even has, you can actually almost read the warning labels that are right up there. But she does move really well, as you can see. Um, some people have been saying there are like, I don't see there's any like big lines or anything like that up top on this to tell you the truth. I don't know what everyone keeps saying. Oh, there's like imperfections or anything like that. But yeah, all in all, the car looks really good. Okay. So that's it for the baggage car. There's not much I can really talk about other than it's other than that's the baggage car. I wish I had track. I wish I had it to light up, but we're gonna continue on to the banner now. So just bear with me. Okay, so same package style as the baggage car as well. No actual plastic sleeve for it. This one as well only comes with one KD, what's what? It's not even a KD coupler, I apologize. It only comes with one long chain coupler. So really that way there, it gives it that, because I think what most everyone's doing, including myself, I do one long chain coupler on one end, one short coupler. That way there, it still makes the turn, but it has that prototypical look of it beating up against the diaphragms. Okay, so let's open this up. So last night as well, caught a bud consist on one of my videos 
and it actually had Craig Manor on the back. So if you guys, if that Manor's out there in Via, give a shout out because it was actually on the back of a passenger train being used as a buffer coach. So this one is Lorne Manor that I have out here right now. And it is as well in the Canada scheme. The other schemes you can get are, I believe, Amtrak and Canadian Pacific Action Red, Maroon, of Via as delivered, and Via Canada scheme. Uh, but yeah, same thing as the baggage, like, rolls very, very well. Got spring-loaded diaphragms on each end. Yeah, and then on this side too. So it's just gonna work out well. Right. Yeah, I don't really see the. I do feel something, but if you kind of, you can't see it. It looks weird with the paint, but if you actually look at it along the edge, you don't really see it that much. This line that they talk that people are complaining about. I don't know. I'm not complaining about the cars. They look really good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, the amazing underbody detailed and the pickups for the lights for the trucks. These do have a capacitor on board. Yes, they do. There is capacitor on board for the lighting to actually keep your coaches alive so that if you go over a dead spot, it won't cut out. Okay. So, we're going to move this out of the way, put both cars together, and we're going to wrap this up. So, it's sort of a quick review, guys, but this is going to wrap this up. I wish I had track. I'll probably have video of this later actually on track as well to have it running just to show you what it looks like maybe with some of my older with because i'll do a quick comparison and you'll see them probably running with another set of style cars from the different run repeat butts but all in all everyone that's going to be it for me on this i like the cars they look good who knows what repeat doing next with them i know they're making heck twos but i'm wondering what's going to be happening next are they doing diners and ch or chateaus next or are they doing park cars yet or an, and are they going to be doing them in prestige mode but that's going to be it for me everyone for this episode thanks for watching and as always make sure the signal's green and keep moving down the line